Hey, it's Ian Moore, the editor of Page Six, and I'm here with Page Six senior reporter Mara Siegler, who's going to share her latest big scoop with us on the RFK Jr. and Olivia Newsy sexting scandal. And now, RFK Jr.'s wife, Cheryl Hines, has been seen in Italy without her wedding ring. He's been seen with his wedding ring. We're unclear what's happening in their relationship, but it seems like not everyone is hoping they'll stay together. Right, so I mean, it's bad news for Olivia Newsy. She's been placed on leave. RFK Jr. is embarrassed, but there are, Cheryl Hines, I'm sure, is embarrassed. There are some within the Trump camp and the RFK Jr. camp, which are now sort of one camp since he's endorsed the president and dropped out, that are really hoping that this splits them up, which, wow. you know, sounds bad, but Cheryl Hines is a diehard liberal. She's been a Democrat for life. She's been very vocal, RFK Jr., after he threw his support behind um, Donald Donald Trump had gone on TMZ and said, this has been very difficult for Cheryl. Um, her main feelings were discomfort. You know, he made it very clear that she is like not a fan of Donald Trump. And in the Trump camp, you need sort of ultimate fealty. They love loyalty. They love, you know, the, the ego massaging. So there are people who I'm told really, and they use the word like strongly hate her. Wow. Would really like to see, although I am told that if anything breaks them up, it's probably not going to be the newsy texting scandal it's probably going to be the tr the Trump stuff. Wow. And so and there's speculation that now that RFK Jr has endorsed Trump that he could get a cabinet position mm -hmm. which would mean he'd have to move to Washington DC. So I guess they're like, "Hey, if he comes with us to DC, we can like get rid of Cheryl, she can stay in Hollywood." Or they're worried that he's going to come to D.C. and bring her. They think, you know, oh, <laughs> right. she'll come and that's another reason that they want her gone because they don't want her sort of in D.C meddling. Well, I would also imagine, right, she started on Curb Your Enthusiasm. That show has ended. If she's looking to book some other gigs, like it's not in liberal Hollywood. It's not usually like the best thing to have your husband be in Donald Trump's cabinet. So that could also kind of be good for her career if they break up to sound I mean, mercenary about it. A it could little. actually because so she backed his campaign very publicly. She was by his side. But there were some moments, you know, he is a anti-vaxxer where Hollywood at the time was, you know, making vaccine mandates to be on set. It was very hard right. to get people back to set. So, you know, he came out and, you know, I'm, I'm sure that that was sort of hard for her behind the scenes, but then she actually did make a public comment. He made a comparison that vaccine mandates were somehow related to being like Anne Frank, the teenage diarist who died in the Holocaust after <laughs> right. living in the attic for um, two years. So she came out and she called that statement reprehensible publicly. And she said, you know, my, my views are not my husband's views, basically. Right. So as I said, she's been in Italy. She was at Milan Fashion Week without her ring. He was testifying in front of the Senate about nutrition, his views on nutrition on Monday. He had his ring. I have a source who said he seemed great. So anyway, thanks, Mara. Now we're working on a bunch of breaking news so you can stay tuned by reading all about it on page6.com or pick up a copy of the newspaper.